Generally, this is pain here on the lateral part of the elbow, the outer part of the elbow here. And the pain is usually where the common extensor tendon comes in and attaches into the lateral epicondyle here. And it's often uh, the muscle called extensor carpi radialis brevis that is the main muscle um, that causes this problem. And the main function of, the, of these muscles is to extend the wrist. Now, if we were going to assess this, first, the first thing I would do is to see whether it's painful on resistance. So if the arm is straight, lift the hand up, and what we're going to do is we're going to resist wrist extension uh, with, a, with a straight elbow. So if you can just pull your hand up backwards towards you, and I'm going to push you down, and resist and resist and resist and resist and relax. What we're looking for is pain in this area when we do that test. You can make that test even more sensitive by lifting the middle finger and just resisting the middle finger, which is more sensitive sometimes for picking up these particular injuries. The next way you might do is by stretching it. So quite often this is painful when you stretch the muscle. And so the way to stretch the muscle is to put the wrist into flexion to turn it that way, okay, which is to essentially ulnar deviate and, o and pronate the arm. And again, you're looking at whether there is pain here. And in an acute tennis elbow, it will quite often be painful just performing that stretch. The final way to assess it is by feeling the area and palpating the area. So the bony prominence there, which is the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. If I just come down here towards the wrist and press in this area here, Somebody that is very acute in terms of uh, having this particular condition will be very sore in this area. So they would be the test that we would use to diagnose tennis elbow.